and a good Wednesday afternoon. I'm Ken Rosano. And I'm Lori Stokes. Welcome to Eyewitness News at Noon. We're going to start now with a developing story. A New Jersey synagogue firebombed, and investigators believe the rabbi and his family were the targets. This is the latest now in a series of crimes targeting Jewish temples in Bergen County. The attack on the synagogue on Montrose Avenue in Rutherford happened just before 5 a.m. Eyewitness News reporter Anthony Johnson is live on the scene with the latest for us. Anthony? Well, Lori, certainly very terrifying moments for the family, the Orthodox family living inside of the synagogue. They live at a second floor residence. The rabbi who put out the fire was seen out here this morning on the scene describing just how frightened he was when that fire bomb came through the window this morning. And at this point in time, they're saying this appears to be more than just a biased crime. She said it was some type of material that came through the window um, and exploded. The target appears to be a rabbi, his wife, and five children sleeping in the residence portion of Temple Beth El. The incendiary device was tossed through a second floor master bedroom window, igniting a fire that was quickly extinguished. It was not an extensive fire, but it did go through the plate glass window and into the bedroom uh, and actually sprayed fire on the bedroom floor as well as in the bed itself. Rabbi Nasan Schumann suffered minor burns on his hands putting out the fire. No one else was hurt, but this launched a major investigation with detectives canvassing the area and walking on the roof of the building looking for evidence. Several other explosive devices, namely Molotov cocktails and aerosol cans, were discovered but did not ignite. You can't just look at this as an arson. This, this, you look at this now as an attempted murder. Newscopter 7 was over the crime scene right after sunrise as cops swarmed the area looking for clues. The 4.30 a.m. attack in this normally quiet Rutherford neighborhood has rattled the nerves of neighbors. I just find it outrageous that somebody would do something like this, especially when kids sleep on the second floor and so forth, because I don't tell you what could happen. There have been several bias incidents in Bergen County recently, including one in Paramus and also in nearby Hackensack. At this point, no one could say if this morning's fire bombing is related but one man says this kind of irrational behavior is not surprising. It, it's not something really new. It's something that happens, and I guess you got to go on. Back here live at the scene, you can see investigators are still on the scene, and arson investigators are also out here. Still a rather large crime scene out here this morning. The Bergen County prosecutor is scheduled to have another news conference this afternoon at 2 o'clock to update us on this very troubling story. That's the latest live from Rutherford, New Jersey. Anthony Johnson, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. All right. We begin with the local synagogue firebomb. Officials say it wasn't just a hate crime. It was attempted murder and carefully planned out. The family was asleep inside the residence at the synagogue on Montrose Avenue in Rutherford. Eyewitness News reporter N.J. Burkett is there live with new details released a short time ago. N.J.? Sade carefully planned and carried out by several arsonists. That is the disturbing theory at the heart of this case. But why this rabbi? Why this family? Why this congregation? Tonight, investigators here are at a loss. One of the firebombs was thrown clear through a bedroom window on the second floor and burst into flames. It was almost like a, like a dragon's breath. Rabbi Nasan Schumann and his wife were nearly killed. Looks like a wall of fire that comes burning in. It's an explosion and it's an instant wall of fire. It came very close. It was very close. The rabbi burned his hands trying to smother the fire while his wife awakened their five children and the rabbi's parents. All made it out safely and the fire did little damage. But authorities are convinced tonight that someone was trying to send them a message. This is certainly a hate crime. This is certainly a biased crime. This is aggravated arson, but most importantly, we're now looking on this as an attempted homicide. It happened at 4.30 in the morning in Congregation Bethel, a rambling Victorian home where the rabbi lives and holds small weekly services. <laughs> Investigators say the attack was apparently carefully planned. Other unexploded devices were found on a roof outside the couple's bedroom. It is the latest in a series of attacks on Jewish institutions in Bergen County, and by far the most severe. Perhaps it's a coincidence, maybe a copycat case, but investigators say there is no clear link to the others, at least not so far. I'm afraid for other congregations that may be next on the list. 
Now, I asked the rabbi today specifically whether he had ever been threatened, and his answer was no. Both the police and the Anti-Defamation League are urging Jewish institutions here and elsewhere to be extremely careful and to step up security and surveillance wherever possible. Much more on this developing story coming up on Eyewitness News at 6. For now, we're live in Rutherford, New Jersey, and Jay Burke at Channel 7, Eyewitness News. And Jay, thank you. And our Out of those other cases, and the disturbing hard truth is, there have been a string of attacks against synagogues in New Jersey. Four Jewish centers have been targeted in Bergen County in just the last month. And now community leaders trying to figure out how to deal with this violence. New Jersey reporter Tony Yates also in Rutherford with that part of our coverage. Tony? Yes, Bill, because there is one thing these four incidents have in common. Uh, the hate in the hearts of the culprits. Hate comes when you don't understand something, when you're fearful of something that is strange to you, is different. Hate has been busy in Bergen County in just a month's time. December 11th, a swastika and white supremacy symbols are scrawled outside Reconstructionist Beth Israel in Maywood. Days later, on the last day of Hanukkah, Temple Bethel in Hackensack is defaced with similar words. The next day, a fire is set and swastikas are left at a temple in Paramus. To now, a rabbi is burned when hate tosses a Molotov cocktail in the residence where his wife and five kids are sleeping. <laughs> rabbi Randall Mark of Wayne speaks across the region on Judaism. Anti-Semitism has been around as long as there have been Jews. There's nothing new there at all. And the message in Bergen County, it will not be tolerated. If you attack one religious faith, you're really attacking every religious faith. And we must unite as a community to be on our toes to protect our friends and neighbors from attack and assault. The pastor of Mount Olive Baptist in Hackensack has often stood with the Jewish community in the wake of the attacks, calling for tolerance. If we talk and dialogue, we can, we can move forward. We may not correct everything, but we can take steps in the right direction. We're not going to solve the problem of hatred in the world, but it doesn't mean we can just turn our back and accept it. It's something that we have to try to overcome in each generation. And the Jewish Federation of Northern New Jersey is actually holding a forum tomorrow night to talk about safety and security and ways to promote tolerance and discourage violence. For now, we're live in Rutherford, Tony Gates, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. Tony, thank you. Now, to A series of attacks in synagogues in New Jersey, not officially connected, but so onerous, people of all faiths, uneasy tonight. And police tonight increasing patrols at many houses of worship. The latest attack, a firebombing this morning at a rabbi's residence inside a temple in Rutherford. Eyewitness News reporter Jeff Pagase at the scene with the story for us. Jeffrey? Yeah, Bill, the firebombing of Congregation Bethel here across the street served as a signal to Jewish leaders in this community to step up their security. There have been four bias incidents uh, in the last month in Bergen County, uh, and the level of violence is increasing from vandalism now to attempted murder. Tonight on Montrose Avenue in Rutherford, a police cruiser is parked outside Congregation Bethel. The scene of the latest attack on a Jewish institution has prompted New Jersey's branch of the Anti-Defamation League to issue this warning. Quote, every synagogue must take extra steps to protect its constituents and building. The alert is being issued hours after the synagogue's rabbi, his wife, five children, and his parents nearly died when someone tossed a firebomb into the second floor window of their home and left other unexploded devices on the roof. Rabbi Nosem Schumann burned his hand, trying to smother the fire. I agree that it was an attempted murder. However, the story here is but one slice of a trail of incidents of hate staining parts of northern New Jersey. Since early December, there have been four incidents, one in Maywood, Hackensack, Paramus, and now Rutherford. There's no clear evidence they're all related. Nonetheless, officials came together today to denounce the string of attacks. If you attack one religious faith, you're really attacking every religious faith. Rabbi Schumann and his wife won't ever forget how close they came to danger. It looks like a wall of fire that comes burning in. They believe someone was trying to send a message. And the message tonight from Jewish leaders, be aware and vigilant. There's going to be a meeting tomorrow night in Paramus that will involve elected officials as well as law enforcement officials to discuss concerns about security. We're live in Rutherford, Jeff Pagay's Channel 7 Eyewitness News.